everybody, it's me again, London, sister girl number one. I am the author of the greatest relationship book in the world. Thank God for gold diggers, hoochies, and hoes. Maybe the rest of you bees can learn something. Remember how I always say, don't you wish that someone had taken the time to sit down and really explain to you the ins and outs, the meat and the potatoes of relationships? Well, I'm going to give you an excerpt from my book. This is going to be kind of deep. Some of y'all are going to be mad at me, but you'll just have to be mad. This is taken from the chapter, Stop Bringing Your Good Booty Calls to the Family Breakfast Table, because some of y'all are just moving in me in like two months after you've met him into your home with you and your kids. So that's a great chapter, but I'm just going to read to you just a little bit, okay? And we're going to start out with how to tell if a man is hustling you. Ready? If a man starts asking you for money and he knows that you are taking it from your bill money because you have told him, and he still keeps asking and pressuring you for it, and once you loan it to him, he does not replace or pay back the money so that you can pay that bill, then that man is hustling you. If a man loves you, he is not going to ask you for money, and when you tell him that all the money you have is for the electricity bill and the lights go out on Tuesday, he still takes the money and doesn't replace it on Tuesday. He doesn't love you. He's hustling you. And then he has you scrambling around to your friends and your family asking for the money to pay the light bill while he, if he does bother showing up or answering his phone, offers you nothing but an, a, but an excuse as to why he couldn't get the electricity money back to you in time. A man that cares about you and your mental well-being and the well-being of your kids in your household knows that excuses don't pay shh. A man that loves and cares about you a man that is in a relationship with you is not going to ask you for the bill money so that he can do something selfish and frivolous like go out drinking with his buddies or using your money to buy lap dances at a strip club. But check this out. This is where you're going to get mad at me. But I'm going to jump on you more than I will that man. If you have money and you're taking care of a man, hey girl, that's your business. But if you're a single mother and you have kids and you're already struggling, you don't take your bill money and give it to no man. If your lights go out because you gave the electric bill money to that man and you and your kids are sitting in the living room blinking your eyes and trying to adjust to the gosh darn dark, I blame you. There's not enough D or love in the world. Let me say it one more time to make sure that you heard me. There's not enough D or love in the world for you and your kids to be feeling around in the dark bumping into furniture trying to find a candle and if you let a man sweet talk you out of your bill money I'm not talking about your play money or your save it aside for a rainy day money no I'm talking to you about your bill money if you let a man sweet talk you out of your bill money you are a relationship dumb a yes that sounds harsh, but if we can talk about the man and how much of a dog he is for hustling you, then we can also talk about you for being a fool and allowing yourself to be hustled. I know how it feels to love and want a man. Girl, <laughs> trust me, I know. But sweetheart, don't be nobody's fool. Don't get pulled into the gosh darn gutter for nobody and never love a man more than you love yourself. If you do, trust me, <laughs> you'll pay for that mistake later. But, oh well, sometimes we have to live and learn. If you don't learn it from me, don't worry. These wolves and these hustlers out here, they'll teach you. This has been me, London Sister Girl number one, author of the greatest relationship book in the world. Thank God for gold diggers, hoochies, and hoes. Maybe the rest of you bees can learn something. And as I always say, holla back. Let me know what you're thinking. And put your credit card back in your wallet and hide your cash. Bye.